Welcome to Zero Now, the channel where I explore all things UX and UI design. Today I'm going to be taking you through margin versus padding in Figma. So, best way to illustrate these concepts is using an example. So what I'm going to do is create two buttons. It's going to be shop now. I'm going to group, auto layout and add a background. I'm going to give that a blue-ish background. I'm going to make the text white. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to change the text to login. And then I'm going to group those buttons and I'm going to add an auto layout. I'm going to center align it just so it's in the middle of the screen for you. So what we have two buttons in a group or in a frame, in a group, then a frame, and we've added auto layout. So let's start with margin. As you can see here, Figma is already telling us the distance between each element. That would be the margin. Margin can be described as the space in between your elements. Then what we can see here, you see how the shop, the shop now text and the login text are right up against the edge of the background. That would be where padding comes in. If we increase these buttons, if we increase the spacing between our text element and the background, we start to see the padding change. Now, if you wanted to change the padding even further, if you hover over these lines here what we can see is figma telling us the amount of padding for this button but also gives us the opportunity to increase it independently of each other and if you look to the right hand side where the padding values are we see that something has changed figma is telling us that we have 43 pixels of padding on the top and 20 on the bottom and if we click and drag that we can see that changing still and we can do that for all corners as well i mean for all sides as well so, to conclude, what margin is, the difference between our elements and can be changed using this value here. If we hover over this icon, we can clearly see that spacing between items is what this field is called. And we can also do that by dragging over this icon here, left and right, and that will increase our margin. And padding can be described as the space between our element and its border or its group. And we can also increase that by hovering over the relevant icon, clicking and dragging left and right. We've also seen that we can do independent sides here. But if we wanted to, we could press this button here and we can do the same thing. And that's it for margin and padding in Figma. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and I'd be interested to know how you've used margin or padding in your designs.